Welcome back to the Dry Fire Journal. This is day 38, at least in terms of video. Uh, want to talk to you about this idea that we have where uh, we're going to call this distance on my draw stroke zero, where my hands meet. And then zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, is where I want to fire. Now I'm going to show you that I have a very clear... Uh, P30L, there's light coming through the chamber so you can tell I have nothing in the magazine well, nothing in the chamber. So if I add a gun, this is after step one where I've gotten on the gun. Step two, the gun comes straight up out of the holster and level. Step three, the hands meet. So we're focusing on micro influences from step three to presentation and shot. So where, wherever my hands meet, I want to have my front sight uh, just a little bit high so that I can now draw a straight line from that front sight to the target. Many of you are familiar with this concept. Uh, I've learned this from several different places. Uh, but I, I really like the idea of thinking about this distance as zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten is where I would fire my shot. Here's what we're talking about today. Here's what I'm inviting you to focus on. Are you able to draw from the holster to this place? I think you are. But are you also able to draw from here to the place where you are then going to coast. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back through the dry fire series and look for a video called Bounce to Coast. Because what I want to do is bounce out of the holster and be able to coast at the very end that lets my dot drop or my front sight uh, settle right where it needs to be. But have you ever thought about drawing to your, not just to here and not just to low ready, but have you thought about drawing just to the point of coast? Here's why I think it's important. If I draw to the point of my coast, I now know exactly more uh, concretely and more physically and more kind of out in space, I know uh, almost with proprioception where I want my coast to begin, and the coasting part of my draw stroke becomes more consistent. And if the coasting part of my draw stroke becomes more consistent, that means my presentation to target becomes more consistent. And the more consistent I can be in my coast, the more confident I can be in my bounce out of the holster. Give this some thought. Let me know what you're thinking. Throw me a comment. Send me a message. Whatever. Let's talk. I think you might find this more helpful than you initially realize. See you tomorrow.